Hi, Mike Furstis with the Virtual Pew back with you here in Winfield, Kansas at the Walnut Valley Festival. You know, one of the things I'm focusing on today is the various campgrounds throughout the, uh, throughout the camp here. There's literally dozens upon dozens of camps where musicians will come together and play. And uh, it's, it's really an incredible thing to get to see that, especially with the quality of musicians. My favorite camp over the last three years at Walnut Valley Festival one that we'll be featuring quite a bit today is the Carp Camp, and I'm fortunate to have Henry Lippincott with us. He's the uh, person in charge of the camp, and just ask a few questions. Henry, tell us about Carp Camp, if you would. Oh, man. Uh, well, let me give you a brief history. I first came to the festival in 72, and uh, there was a young fellow. First of all, let me back up just a little bit further. Let's go back three more years. There was a, a friend of ours called uh, Brent Pearson and Bob Pruitt, that was his daughter that was here. But, and they started going to school out here to the, uh, to the college. And uh, one of the things that they decided to do, well, they worked for Luthier, uh, Bill Mossman, I think it's Bill. And uh, they were working their way through school, like most of us did when we went to college. And he wanted to put together a little, uh, you know, get together with guitars and stuff out on the campus and ask uh, his employer if he would help with the bill like flyers and that sort of thing. And so they did that. And so Brent Pierce's original idea to put something together. And he uh, got Bob Pruitt, his good friend at the time, to help him do that. And so uh, in 68 or 69, uh, they had about 50 people come. And they, they put on a little, uh, just a little gathering around campus. It went over real well, and so the next year they did it again. They had about 150 people, and the third year they had about 100 people show up. Well, Bob Redford came down, and he had been kind of, you know, saw the gathering, asked Brent and Bob if, if he could kind of join in and, and see, you know, how, how that all worked and everything. They seemed to think that would be fun because they were graduating and they were going to be going home. Well, uh, it was that following year, you know, they showed Bob around and everything. The following year, Rob took it from the college to the Winfield Fairgrounds, and that was 1972, and that was actually the first year of this festival. So you've been here since the very beginning. Well, yeah, I, I came in 72 and 73, and I can't remember for 74, but the first two years I came, then I went to the Air Force. Okay. Uh, but after that, uh, I came back and started coming back again in 89, I'm going to say 89, and Cobb Camp was very small. And uh, uh, we had been moving around from different areas. So we've been in our local, at this particular place, I think for 11 years now. This is 11th or 12th year we've been here. But uh, Carp Camp came from uh, our uh, leader, our music leader, Dave Firestone. And he used to live in Minnesota. And when he was going to college up there, actually, he should be telling the story because it's really funny. But he was going to college up there. and. In Minnesota, the carp is considered the outcast fish. If you're, you know, if you catch a carp, you know, uh, they want you to not, don't throw it back. You know, you got to kill it, get rid of it because there's so many of them. And, and, and but they really, you know, the carp, they really serve a purpose in, in the yeah. last and things like that. But they just, you know, so many of them. So, you know, he took sympathy, sympathy for the carp, and he commissioned his uh, new bride at the time to make the. the Carp that you see flying above our canopy. It's about six foot long. It's basically like a wooden sock. And actually, there was some carpets up one time. <laughs> but they've since disappeared and gone their way or whatever. But, uh, I'll make sure to get, I'll make sure last night to get coverage or video of yeah. the carp. So. And so that's, a, you know, that's kind of, you know, we just get together and we like to play these tunes. And it, it's really hard to classify the music. The closest thing I can tell you is to try to classify the music. It's Celtic in origin. Most of it is Celtic in origin. So Celtic covers England, Ireland, Scotland, Wales, and Shetland Islands. And then couple that with the American folk music, but it's not folk music like you think of it, but the rest of it's a traditional American folk tunes. Most of the tunes we get, uh, well, most of the tunes we like to play have been published in the Portland collection. Portland collection one. <laughs>